this is the lake that's real close to my house. It's called Windmill Lake. It's just a little small fishing lake. It was originally supposed to be fly fishing only. People kept stealing the signs and tearing them down. Apparently the government gave in. Now you can fish for any. A little closer to the lake now. There's one jetty here. There's another one just past it. And I don't know what that object is way over there on the other side. I often wondered. I don't know what the heck that is. But this is the lake. There's a house you can see just above the lake there. Uh, I believe their driveway is right across the road from where I'm at. And that place is for sale too. Uh, back off to this way to the lake. There's Back off to the left there. You can't see it behind these trees. but there's. Some... And this is Windmill Lake. I'm leaving. Uh, you can see how it got its name. The windmill back there. And I'm going to the next lake. Well here I am. At my last. I think it's the last turn to Black Creek Lake. And what in the world have we got over here. Road's closed. Can't go see the lake. So. I'm either going to go. This way to get out of here. Or. The way I came. And hopefully stumble back out. Where I found the opening. But I can't go there. Black Creek Lake. Road is this is Runa Bay, Runaway Bay at Bridgeport Lake. That's the sign you see from the road behind me. We'll swing on around. This is just a piece of the lake. This is a very large lake. Never fished here, but I probably will soon. And the bridge coming up on the right here is Highway 380 between Bridgeport and Jacksboro which is you're looking in a in uh, towards the east this truck you see crossing now is headed is headed west and into Runaway Bay A no parking sign over there by the bike. <laughs> this is Ammon, Amon G. Carter Lake. Amon G. Carter Lake. This is what it looks like from Selma Park area. You can see somebody jet skiing way off in the distance there. That's a jet ski. See it going? Right. Nice houses over there on the other side. We're standing on the northwest tip of this lake. This lake winds all over the place back that way. And as you can see we've got farmhouses. And here's a little swimming dock right here. We get around this tree so the focus will work. And you can see the swimming dock. Yeah, the water's up pretty high. And then there's some uh, picnic tables with covers back over there on that, that little peninsula back there where the poles, light poles are. And you can camp here. People camp here all the time. It's a nice place. And here's some people camping up here. And there's a big pavilion there. It's open for use for the public. And, and right over here I believe that's the camp host. He's the person you pay when you want to camp out. And some of these sites you can bring trailers and have water and electric and all that hooked up right out here. And this is Amon G. Carter Lake. There's that jet ski again. There we 